Hello, I'm here to talk to you about Summoner. If you are not aware, I am a very big Summoner fan and have been for a very long time. Now, Summoner has changed drastically throughout the years. Ever since back in A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word, we were mostly a Daunt Mage, and in Heaven's Word, Dreadworm Trance just gave Summoner a burst window. And then in Stormblood, we just doubled down on the Bahamut identity by actually giving it the first real summon that we got, and then Shadowbringers came out and they doubled down even more on the Demi Summon with Phoenix. And we started really feeling like we were Summoners because we still had the Eggies that were janky on the side, but, you know, in Endwalker, we're just full-on summoners. It's just, no more eggies. The whole rotation is just summoning. But now some people are worried because, oh, it seems like there's less buttons on the bar. Oh, those buttons just keep getting replaced and I'm just hitting the same buttons. And well, I'm here to tell you that that is not a problem whatsoever. And Summoner feels, even gameplay-wise, the best it ever has been. I'm even talking about and comparing to Heaven's Word Complex Summoner here, okay? But first, I have a word from a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Castlecraft World War, link in the description below. Castlecraft World War is a real-time PvP game where your skills decide the outcome. Really choose your commanders and units with different mechanisms to win. But don't forget to scout the enemy base, find out what your opponent is up to, and respond by expanding your base and adding unit cards with a special strategy for victory. Experience many battles to become the best conqueror and achieve rewards given to conquerors. So if Castlecraft World War looks interesting to you, check it out in the link in the description below. All new players will receive a bunch of stuff in their mailbox like Ruby, Gold, Epic Card, Expeditions Box, and the Commander Elaine. Okay, now back to the video. I'm gonna be showing some Endwalker footage here, so just keep in mind that this is subject to change. Okay, let's just jump into this. Here are the Summoner hotbars. The top one is Endwalker, the bottom one is the current one in Shadowbringers. Don't pay too much attention to the layout here. I had to quickly build my hotbars to film everything while at the media tour. But I wanted to show you guys how many buttons you're actually pressing and how often you're doing them. So I first wanted to look at the buttons that you press at least once a minute. For Endwalker Summoner, that's 11 different buttons. 20 of which are completely different skills with different feelings. In current Shadowbringer Summoner, it's nine different buttons. And that's actually 11 different skills. So already looking at this, the things that you're pressing at least once a minute is way more varied, okay? Like it's almost night and day difference. But that's not all, right? Because, you know, some of these buttons you're really only pressing twice a minute, okay? So what about buttons that you press more than five times a minute? You know, the, the things that you're always pressing. On Endwalker Summoner, there's three of them, and that equates to 10 completely different skills. Versus Shadowbringer Summoner has one, it's Ruin 3. The only button on current Summoner that you press more than five times a minute is Ruin 3. I, I think that really explains it all. Now the important thing here about Endwalker Summoner is that yeah, it's three buttons, which is still more than one, by the way, but those three buttons all feel different. Like when you're in Ifrit phase, the gem buttons are long cast time spells, and Astral Flow is a freaking gap closer AoE combo, like come on. And when you're in Titan phase, you're in like a weaving mode of instant spells. The gem abilities are instant, and the Astral Flow is an OGCD that you weave. And then in Garuda, the gem abilities are super quick GCDs, and Astral Flow is a casted floor AoE, so you have to be mindful if the boss is even gonna stand still through it. All three of these feel completely different, and it's great! I loved it! It, it felt so good going through the rotation. Throughout the whole two minute loop of Bahamut to the three primals to Phoenix to the three primals, I felt like I was varied. It, it all felt different the whole way through. Versus current summoner, it's a lot of Ruin 3. There is no Ruin Ruin 3 spam here. I think it's very easy to misunderstand an easy job to an easy to understand job. New Summoner is definitely easy to understand, but that's only because Summoner up till now has been pretty convoluted and you had to deal with janky wonky crap. Like, why do I want to play a job that's harder just because I have to fight with the job to get it to do what I want it to do, versus a job that's actually designed to flow well and thematically make sense with itself. And then it's not only about the different buttons that you're pushing. Current Summoner is very static. You're always going to be doing the exact same thing. New Summoner is not static. The three primals you can swap around in any order, and the order that you do them in is going to be dependent on the fight. There is going to be a best order to do them in, but that is going to be super fight dependent. It's a little weird to talk about potencies right now because they can change, but at the moment, Titan is actually the highest DPS phase of the three primals. So you're going to want to get him under the raid buffs along with a Bahamut or Phoenix. Then with Ifrit, you got to think about, you. well, you got to get the gap closer in, but maybe there are mechanics 
mechanics that are making you stay away from the boss. So you got to switch up what you're actually going to do. And then with Garuda, you got to think about the boss has to stay still in that floor AOE. In current summoner, I don't think about any of these things. I just push the buttons and I do okay DPS. Now, of course, there's always optimization per fight on every job, but I'm not a speed runner. I'm just a normal raider with a whatever works to get the clear mindset. And even in that mindset, Endwalker Summoner has much more to think about than current Summoner. And then that's not even adding in dungeons. Endwalker Summoner has so much cooler stuff to do in dungeons. Your single target rotation basically has a complete analog difference to the AOE rotation. The buttons that you would push in a raid is completely different from the buttons that you would push in a dungeon. And that's fun. It makes it varied. Or even going through the dungeon itself when you're on AOE pulls versus fighting a boss, you have variants there. In current summoner, I'm doing the same thing all the time, pretty much. Like, yeah, maybe I push outburst. I really just wanted to make this and talk about it because I see people worried about new summoner, thinking that it's not going to be fun to them. And you know, fun is subjective, of course, but I'm trying to look at it in a way of if you like current summoner, would you like this new summoner? And I think the vast majority is going to be yes, a resounding yes. So much so that it's going to bring a whole bunch of other people who've never even looked at casters before to play summoner. It's almost designed too cool. Everybody's going to be playing my job. I'm not going to be special anymore. Just stay away from my summoner dog. I was here first. And oh yeah, we have sleep. I, I Thanks, Black Mage, I guess. I mean, that'll be cool in Palace of the Dead, maybe. Oh my God, Palace of the Dead summoner. Oh my God, we're going to be like a machinist. Oh, it's going to be so good. Just take it from somebody who played it. You guys are going to like it. It's going to be fun. It's one thing seeing you summon the primals. It's another thing entirely to actually press the button and you were the one who did it. It feels so cool. And by the way, you have to keep all the summons on max size. Don't make them tiny. How dare you? Give Titan his time in the sun. He's been waiting like eight years to do this. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about summoner with you guys. Catch me in Endwalker whispering at bow down over dweller and now fall every time I summon them. Okay, bye.